In this problem, we're asked to calculate K for the following reaction. This reaction here is the overall reaction. So um, this is the overall reaction. And here, we're given two reactions. So we're told to calculate K from this information right here. So the whole um, idea here is we want to manipulate these two equations so that when we add them, we obtain our overall equation. So I'm looking at equation one, and equation one looks fine to me. The, um, this compound here is on the left side uh, where it's supposed to be, and the tin is on the right side. Now, I look at this equation, the second equation, and notice in the overall equation, the carbon monoxide is on the reactant side, and here it is on the uh, product side, and also the carbon dioxide is on the reactant side here, but on the product side here. So what I'm going to do here is reverse equation 2. Now, something else I will need to do, when I add these, I'm going to want to cancel out the hydrogen and the water, because the hydrogen and the water do not show up in the overall equation. But first, let's go ahead and reverse equation number 2. So we'll go ahead and rewrite that as H2O plus carbon monoxide gas to give us hydrogen gas and carbon dioxide. Now, because I reversed number two, remember when the reverse, K for the re reverse reaction is the reciprocal. So now I would have one over K. So that would be one divided by 0 0.771. Now, what I'm going to do, notice that in um, equation number one, there are two hydrogens and two waters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply equation two, multiply equation two by two. So let's go ahead and multiply these coefficients. So we'll put a two in front of, okay, so we've multiplied the equation by 2. Now, because I multiplied the equation by 2, now k is going to be squared. Now, what I can do then is add equations 1 and 2. So let me go ahead and write the first equation here, and that way we can add them. And that's going to be 10 plus water. And of course, K here is 8.12. It remains unchanged. So let's go ahead and add these. And what I have, my water will cancel out. My two hydrogens will cancel out. And I'm left with two carbon monoxide plus my uh, tin four oxide and solid tin plus two carbon dioxide gas. So I compare this to the overall equation up here and we have the overall equation. Now it's time to calculate K for the overall reaction. So when we're adding reactions, uh, remember the K for added reactions is going to be equal to K1 times K2. Let me erase this. Going to be multiplied by k2 time and so on. Well, we only have two k's here. So in this case here, then our 
value of k is going to be 1 divided by 0 0.771, and that quantity is squared, and we'll multiply that by 8.12, get k equal to 13.7.